Hi everybody, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. Are you looking for one impressive show-stopping dessert to bring to your next Halloween party? Well, are you in luck? Because today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a glowing ghost cake. It's gonna be a three layer scrumptious moist chocolate cake filled and covered with some whipped purple frosting. And it's gonna be topped with a simple fondant ghost that really lights up from the inside. I can't wait to show you. I'm really excited for it and I think it's gonna be really fun. I'll be sure to throw a link to the recipe down below in the description with all my tips, tricks, and everything you need to make your own glowing ghost cake. And be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video for more information about my KitchenAid Stand Mixer giveaway. Plus, if you're new around here, don't forget to click subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out every time I post a new video. Now grab yourself a large mixing bowl and let's kick off Halloween right by starting on our delicious, scrumptious, oh so good chocolate cake. So first up, you wanna add in our flour, our cocoa powder, our baking soda, and our salt. Then we'll just give those a quick little whisk. Once all those ingredients are incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and scoot those to the side, grab another mixing bowl, and start adding in your butter and your sugar. And with your hand mixer, you wanna go ahead and you wanna to begin to beat your butter and your sugar together on a nice medium speed for a good two, two and a half minutes or until they are both light and fluffy. Follow that up by adding in your eggs and your vanilla and blend those in on that same medium speed. So we have our wet ingredients fully incorporated and we have our dry ingredients nice and whisked. All we have left to do now is to slowly add in our dry ingredients to the butter mixture while alternating with fresh brewed coffee. Now usually I do like to say be sure to start and end with the dry ingredients but you know what? It's Halloween, it's the holidays, it's the kickoff to the holiday season where we have a holiday every single month. So if you forget, it's more than okay. Really at this point, you just wanna make sure not to over mix your batter. And just like that, in a couple of quick, easy steps, trust me, you have one delicious chocolate cake batter ready to go in the oven. So let's go ahead and pour these into a prepared pan. And I'm gonna be using two six inch rounds with some parchment paper lined on the bottom and a nice light coating of vegetable shorting around the inside of the cake pan. Once your batter is in your cake pans, go ahead, pop in the oven and let bake for a good 40 to 45 minutes or until your cake tester comes out clean. Now while our cakes are baking in the oven, let's go ahead and get started on our fondant ghost topper. For our fondant ghost topper, we're gonna to be using a dry foam block, a foam ball, a dowel rod, white fondant, and black fondant. And of course, a nonstick silicone mat and a fondant roller. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna put all these together and we're gonna make one spoopy, adorable little ghost for our cake. Now first, we wanna take our wooden dowel and cut a piece that's about four to five inches long. It needs to be just long enough to stick one end in the styrofoam ball and in the dry foam block. Now we just stick one end of our dowel rod into our foam ball, but make sure it doesn't go all the way to the top, just far enough to where it's gonna be stable and it can stand up straight on its own. Next, we're gonna take some plastic wrap and cover our foam ball to make a nice barrier between our foam ball and our fondant. Now we can get started on our fondant ghost. You want to begin by rolling out your white fondant in a large circle. It does not need to be perfect, so definitely don't stress about that. 
Size wise, I'm thinking we're gonna roll ours out today to about 13 to 14 inches. But how much fondant you are gonna need really depends on how much of the wooden dowel is left between your foam ball and your foam block. So once our fondant is rolled out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sprinkle both sides lightly with some powdered sugar to prevent any sticking with our fondant. Now drape your fondant over your foam ball. Now this is where patience is really gonna be key because you'll have to fidget with it just a little bit to get the draping to look just right. If you're having trouble though, don't worry, take a breather, take your fondant off, and roll it out to a large circle so it's large enough to where it can just drape correctly by itself and you really don't have to fidget with it too, too much. When it comes to the draping, I like to make sure that the bottom of my ghost is draping outward and not straight down. You'll wanna do this by pulling the bottom of the ghost out. Once you have your draping just right for your fondant ghost, go ahead, set that aside, let it hang out for a couple of hours and firm up. This way it holds its shape once you take out your foam ball. I'm gonna set mine aside and I'm gonna whip up some purple buttercream while I let my cakes finish. So I'll see you back in a quick little, a quick little, I was gonna try to do something funny and cute for Halloween and ghost theme, but I can't, can't think of it. So I'll see you right back in a flash. So our cakes have baked, they've cooled, I've leveled all of them. Now it's time to fill these with some purple buttercream and get our cake covered and ready for our ghost topper. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take our first layer of chocolate cake on our cake turntable. And we're gonna begin spreading some purple buttercream on top and spread evenly with a straight or offset spatula. Now, depending on how many cake layers you're doing, you wanna go ahead and just follow that step. So you wanna do cake, buttercream, cake, buttercream, cake, buttercream, until you have all your cake layers filled and stacked. Now that our cakes are filled and stacked, we can go ahead and begin to cover our cake with even more purple buttercream. Now I like to cover my cakes by starting from the bottom and while rotating my cake turntable, piping on my buttercream in an upward motion. Then using a cake frosting scraper, a straight spatula or an offset spatula, you wanna smooth over your purple buttercream. I find the best way is to hold your smoothing tool upright and gently press against your cake while rotating your cake turntable. Really letting that turntable do all the work here. Then you'll just wanna continue this until you have a nice smooth coating. When you're at the point when you're doing that final smoothing and you notice the texture of the buttercream become a bit ragged, don't worry, don't stress, take a deep breath. There's an easy quick fix. Just get a bowl of hot water and dip your tools into the bowl to warm them up, pat dry and smooth. 
The warm metal will melt the buttercream and give you that nice smooth finish. Now that our cakes are filled and covered with some purple buttercream, I'm gonna go ahead, pop in the fridge, and let it chill and set for a quick five minutes while I clean up, reset, so we can add our ghost topper. I can show you how to make it glow and light up and impress all your friends and family this year for Halloween. So I'll see you back in another quick flash. So we have our cake ready to go. We have our fondant ghost ready to go. We've got our fondant ghost eyes and fondant ghost mouth. Now it's time to put them all together for one impressive, wow factor show-stopping Halloween cake. So we're gonna take our plastic LED candle light, turn the light on, and lightly wrap it with some plastic wrap. This way you have a nice barrier since you'll be putting your LED candle right on top of the cake. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gently set our finished fondant ghost right on top. Then to add the ghost eyes and the ghost mouth, we wanna paint on a little tiny bit of water to make the fondant somewhat tacky. And you're gonna do that where you want your eyes and your mouth. Then just pop them on. And after all that, you are ready to wow and impress all your friends and family this year for Halloween. With one scrumptious, delicious, super moist chocolate cake, fluffy purple buttercream, and the piece de resistance, our glowing ghost cake topper. Honestly, a perfect way to celebrate Halloween, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> well, thank you all for stopping by. I had so much fun kicking off Halloween with everybody and showing you how to make your own glowing ghost cake. Really, I think all your friends and family this year for Halloween are gonna be super impressed. If you're a fan of Halloween and you plan on dressing up, or you just like all the candy and the spooky movies, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out, lets me know I'm baking up recipes you all like, you enjoy, and you wanna see more of. And if you're new in my kitchen, don't forget to click subscribe down below and turn notifications so you don't miss out every time I post a new recipe. Like any more holiday themed desserts that I've got coming up here in the kitchen, we were at that like holiday blitz where we have like a holiday every single month. Some months have two. You don't wanna miss out. They're gonna be so delicious. Super simple, super practical, and just again, super delicious. Plus, I still have 20 KitchenAid semesters to give away. So if you haven't already, be sure to enter down below with the link. Once you enter the giveaway, you'll have 20 chances to win and lots and lots of ways to enter. Lastly, don't forget, if you're whipping up your own Halloween-inspired desserts, definitely give a tag on Instagram. You know, let me see what you're baking up in your kitchen. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee, enjoy the day, enjoy the weather, maybe enjoy a slice of cake. You know how I do. <laughs> but I will see you all in the next video very, very soon. Bye.